Off Garrison Point we see the GPS India with barge and inward bound for the ballast berth at the Isle of Grain to load. Outward bound in sea reach is the Roro vessel Borsong on a daily passage from Tilbury 2 Terminal to Zeebrugge. In overcast conditions we are now approaching the Oikos fuel storage facility on Canvey Island. Alongside the Oikos jetty is the 110,000 tonne deadweight tanker Hafnia Despina. She was built in 2019 and it looks as though she's almost finished discharging. We are now proceeding along the north shore of Sea Reach. London Gateway can be seen in the distance. One of the largest container terminals in the UK. Work has recently started on an expansion programme, including extra berths. Tug operations are performed by two companies Baluda Tugs of Spain and Svitzer Tugs which are a subsidiary of the Maers Group of Denmark. Both are worldwide tug operators. Outward bound is the Roro Ferry Celestine on passage from Fords at Dagenham to Vlissingen in Holland. We are now passing the MSC Yokohama, built in 2004 and 93,000 tonne deadweight. The 33,000 tonne container vessel Santa Marta Express, built in 2010. Elbson is a 12,000 tonne feeder container vessel and was built in 2012. The Hamburg Sud container vessel of 93,000 tonne, built in 2011, the Santa Rita. Approaching Tilbury landing stage in the pouring rain, we see the cruise liner Aegean Odyssey and also the torture gas, the car carrier. Aegean Odyssey was built in 1972. In 1988 it was converted into an educational cruise ship operated by a road scholar. The 61,000 tonne vehicles carrier Tortugas, built in Japan in 2006. New dual functioning lock gates are being installed, replacing the originals installed in 1928. This is part of a £34 million project to improve the flood defences at the port of Tilbury.
Alongside North Fleet Container Terminal is the feeder vessel Weck Van Rijn. Another regular feeder carrier is the Sam Skip Express. Alongside Tilbury Grain Terminal is the 1999 built Federal Oshima with a tonnage of 36,000 tonnes. The 37,000 ton fuel products tanker Hafnia Almondine is alongside the Vopac terminal at Perfleet. She was built in 2015. Along various stretches of the Thames, maintenance of the jetties is carried out. In this case, GPS Marine are the contractors. The coastal tanker Star Aruba, recently arrived from Tenoisen, is discharging vegetable oil. We are now passing Perfleep Deep Water Jetty, home to Colbert Fret Ferries, and the Vespertine, and also the Alf Pollock, which is on charter to Colbert Fret at this time. Alongside at Perfleet is the 15,000 tonne chemical and products tanker Atlantic Twin, built in 2008. We are now approaching Hansen Aggregates at Dagenham and alongside is the marine aggregate dredger Hanson Thames, built in 2021 by Damon Shipyards in Romania. Six hours after departing from the Medway, we arrive at Barking Creek at high water. Turning around, we head back, making full use of the tide. Erith Oil Mills opened in 1908 and is the largest vegetable oil mill in the UK. It refines rapeseed, sunflower and corn into oils. These are then bottled for the retail sector. Alongside Conway's Ashfeld plant at Erith, unloading stone chippings, is the Arclo Venus, 5,000 tonne, built in 2018 in the Netherlands. Alongside Erith Scrap Jetty is the Tug Buzz, previously the Thames Tug Acertron, and also the XPLA Tug Lord Waverley. Both vessels are waiting to be scrapped. Now fully loaded from the Medway, the GPS India is inward bound passing Perfleet.
approaching the old Dartford Roro berth alongside are the tugs GPS Racia and Sea Challenge 2. On the Green Hythe Swing Boy is the Beluda Tug RT Ambition, on standby for the tankers at the Purfleet Oil Jetties. The Coaster Polar Rose is on a regular passage from Tilbury Grain Terminal to Erith Oil Mills, with a cargo of rapeseed which is then refined into oil. A regeneration project to turn the former Northfleet Cement Works site into a new 532 home neighbourhood is underway. It is part of the Ebbsfleet Garden City development. All that remains of the cement works is Bevan's Wharf. This is now a cement import terminal and alongside is the Maratona. And here we see the Switzer Bootle, and she's on the Gravesend mooring. And the rest of the uh, Switzer fleet, alongside their pontoon at Denton. Ormsby Cross is on relief duties. Her normal base is on the Tees. Approaching Shawnmead, we see in the distance the Baluda Tug RT Peter on the swing boy. Alongside Cliff Chetty, we see the marine aggregate dredger Britannia Beaver, built at Appledore in 1991. Approaching the Medway at sunset, it's certainly been a memorable day. <laughs> 